Hey, this is Cakes and Shakes, and I am here with two of my winged horses, where if you watch my channel, you know that long, not long ago, I actually traded some neon legendaries for 16 winged horses. So now I need to make the mega, and that's what I'm working on, but that is not the point of today's video. The point, and, I, and by the way, I'm actually really close to making this, this thing mega. And we're right in the middle of the Easter event, folks. Uh, it's fun doing the mini game. I actually really like the mini game, but that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is I just got an offer for my Neon Monkey King. And we're going to see if that's an offer that I'm interested in doing once the person who made the offer joins me. And I'll let you guys tell me what you think. If we end up getting a trade done, who knows? But that's the purpose. So I'm just going to play this mini game here while we wait. But uh, let me just see where the person... All right, I think the person is in the process of joining me. So let's go play the mini game for a few minutes while we wait. But I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch watch me collect all the eggs even though this is super fun all right so the guy who's making the offer for my uh neon monkey king let's see neon monkey king let's see what his offer is folks so it's a parrot which i like already it's a fly ride fe for phoenixes and a neon diamond mahi that's this isn't a bad offer i actually think this is decent so all right he accepted let me just double accept so a monkey king's worth about 0.65 in frost values and a parrot alone is worth about 0.625 so all of this stuff is definitely worth more than 0.25 so i'm gonna if he double accepts all right he double accepted i'm gonna do this trade folks i am gonna trade my Neon Monkey King for this parrot and ads. Here we go. All right. I love it. So I'll walk you through my logic. Let me just unfriend this guy here. Um, and I don't know. Uh, let me just tell him enjoy. Oops. Enjoy. So and then I'm going to unfriend him. I just friended him to do the trade. So unfriend him. And then I'm going to walk you through um, my logic on this. So let's head over here. Let me take out my uh, trading license and I'll walk you through. Let me just friend these or um, let me just favorite these pets really quick, especially the parrot. But yeah, look, my logic is is was pretty simple on this one, folks. So if you look at the trading license, I'll walk you through how I was thinking about it. So today, a Monkey King, these things have actually dropped in value. They're very old. I think they're from two, They're from the Fairground update. They were, I think, the Robux pet, or you had to buy special boxes to get these pets. So they were really rare and hard to get. But uh, they're worth about 0.625 in fro frosts, in frost value. So if you're not familiar with what that means... Check out my understanding frost values vid, and that will tell you everything you need to know. But effectively, what I do is I denominate all the pets into how many frosts a pet is worth. So if it's worth one, it's worth a frost. If it's worth 0.5, it's worth half a frost, and so forth. So the Monkey King today is worth about 0.65. So it's worth a little bit, tad bit more than a parrot, 0.65 frost. A parrot is worth about 0.625. And then, so the difference between this and this is about 0 0.025, which I think the Diamond Mahi Mahi alone is worth more than that. And if I decided to make a Neon Phoenix, it would be worth like 0.1. It would be worth way more. So for me, this was actually a slight win uh, in terms of value. But Monkey Kings are very hard to trade. They are very low demand. And the Parrots are very high demand. So... I think this is a slight win from a value standpoint and a major win from a value set from, from a um, a major win from a 
uh, demand standpoint, because just the demand on the parrots is just so much higher than the Monkey King. So hopefully that makes sense to you. May let me know what you think. Win, fair, or lose, would you have done this trade? And do you agree with kind of my, how I think about the rationale here? But I hope it's helpful to you guys. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see all of you really soon. Happy trading.